Hello, welcome to the Daily Political Tarot Readings here on the Black and Orange channel on this Memorial Day weekend. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, I am here 365 days of the year to take your 12 political questions. I take it out of the chat. So just put your questions in the chat. Uh, oh, something's gone wrong over here. It wasn't refreshing, so I couldn't see. I can't see the questions. Uh, Okay, good. I can see the questions now. All right, I've got all your questions here uh, in the in. If you're watching this on replay, hello. You can go down in the description box. Uh, all the questions are there. I time stamped them as I go, so you can come in. You can pick and choose what you're interested in, or you can listen to the whole thing back on like turn it up to like 1.25, uh, the speed. I find other than the this part where I'm talking quickly at the beginning, um, I watch a lot of videos. I just up the speed a little bit get the information I need, what I'm interested in, catch the jokes and, you know, third start or the right straight on till morning. So uh, consider consider doing that. But you're always welcome here for the, the live show, of course. Uh, we have a great community here and thank you everybody. Anything in all caps during the live stream is how you communicate with me. And other than that, please just type normally. So, okay. And today, we're going to start with the Housewives Tarot, but we might go on to the Morgan Greer. I have not yet decided. Thank you, Kay. All right. Um, I'm afraid I have my questions for today, but I'm here tomorrow. I'm here the day after that. Uh, every, every holiday, your birthday, my birthday, every Tuesday, every Friday the 13th, every Christmas, every, you name it, I'm here. So... Thank you. Thank you. All right. Two minutes in. Let's just jump right into questions. Okay. I am confused, but okay. According to, let me see, who's who's got this article? An article in or MSN. Here, let me share this because it's it's a jaw dropper. Share, share screen. Putin's daughter lined up to take control of Russia when he dies. Putin is considering parachuting his daughter into a position in parliament so she has the power after he dies. It has been claimed. The Russian leader has long been dogged with rumors of being seriously sick with some saying he's used deep fake, deep fake technology to stage his appearances, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Um, so, and officials are worried how the status quo will be maintained after he dies. Okay. How likely is this? Really? Okay. The other thing, though, I wanted to, to throw in here. It didn't say which one. I'm guessing, is it? Katarina, E. Katarina, something like that. I can't remember the names of his daughters uh, right off the top of my head. But um, apparently he's got an, they say he's got an illegitimate daughter as well. Illegitimate, you know, that old fashioned term. Um, and so I went and looked for the picture. Let me share this with you. And you tell me what you think. Aw, they have the same dead look in their eyes. They could be related. So her name is, it's, is it Elisa, Elisa, Elisaveta is her name. But anyway. And then of course he has children with the gymnast, it is said. So anyway, but uh, the important part there is, is the emperor, is he going to helicopter in one of his own daughters into parliament? Yes, Holly and France, he thinks he's the czar. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Do, 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 do.
mm -mm. she doesn't have the she doesn't have the political backing when he's gone she even if she was in parliament um should be should be a sitting duck once he was gone he would have had to have started doing this years ago so putin gonna try to get your daughter in there thank you patty g just a plain old blue oh yeah when putin's gone there's not a lovely little succession clear. He's the man has he has built his tower from gelatin and it's so wiggling. What is going on here on my computer? Why are you acting funny? So I've got a page over here, but it's making weird. That was odd. All right. It was flashing. It was somebody flashing over here. And I couldn't figure out what was going on, but it's okay. All right. King of Swords. Ten of Cups. Ace of Cups. Page of Cups. No way. She couldn't do... Mm -mm. Six of Pentacles. It should be toast. She would be a babe in the woods. No. And he knows it. He'd, he'd have to be... At that point, he would have to be so mentally compromised to try to, to even try to put her in. So... About, what about Putin's successor? Dr. Nancy, living co-creatively. Do we have a birth time on Putin's daughter? Honestly, I can't even remember her name off the top of my head. Katerina? Is it Katerina? E. Katerina? I, I can't even remember, to be honest. So, I don't know. Okay. Putin's successor. I don't know, duly elected? That would be kind of cool. Five of one. Gretchen said all the fruit and vegetables will explode out of that salad the moment he dies. <laughs> that was good. Five of wands, rancor, rawr, fighting for power. We know exactly when, when, if one of our presidents dies, we know exactly what happens next. We know exactly who it power goes to. After we know who goes, to, it goes to after that person. We know who goes to, after. Da, 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 at any given point, there is a strict set. We know, and it's not good that you don't. Six of Cups, Empress. Ace of Wands. That's women. A Saturday. This is a this is a joining together Empress Power of Women in Russia, fighting against of uh, because there's a whole lot of of fighting for control. But I think women are going to stand up a bit in Russia. It's, it's not clear. It's not like, oh, okay. Oh, there'll be another election. Oh, what kind of person will be in charge next? It's There's a lot of chaos. Seven of Swords. Stabbed in the back. Secrets. Tower. Devil. <laughs> when Putin dies. This is three major arcana of a bad day. That's a bad day. 
secrets, catastrophe, the tower falling, absolute corruption, stabbing, stabbing up people in the back. All right, that's all I'm getting. <laughs> Chine, the babushkas will rise. I hope so. Marie Sutton, send in the babushkas. Revolution Ricky, bad day for Russians or the world? Deborah Murphy, are you kidding? Let a woman in power? I didn't say they would, that. I don't know that there's going to be a female leader. I'm saying it, it, it's a women standing up, maybe in the streets, in the in. And who knows? You never know. Eventually, we haven't had a female president yet. Ridiculous. Bad day for Russia or the world. Seven of Pentacles. Let me write that down. At 11.30, bad day for Russia or the world. Let's ask. Fruits of labor. Who's, who's going to get the spoils? Eight of Pentacles. This is this is working. This is fruits of labor or other people's labor. Knight of Swords. That's aggressive. Sorry, this is the card for the reading. That should not be that. It should be here. Center of the reading is the Two of Wands. Queen of Wands. Queen of Swords. Uh, mostly Russia, but a little bit in the world. Not there's no major arcana here. Um, it's it's a fight for the spoils. Okay. Uh, aggressive. This is more like aggressive law enforcement, although. Communicating on the right. This is the card of communication. And, and with wands, it's often the far right communications and a queen of wands stepping up and wanting to keep maybe things up as they are. But this queen of swords with the knight of swords supporting, this could be quite often queens from your groups. Don't ask me why. It just comes up that way. It's not always a person. Um, the swords coming up against the wands. So the swords would be more like the military, either internally or externally or law enforcement. This is more at the, the Putin-esque people. So the groups around Russia, military around Russia or elsewhere, they have to, um, they have to adjust or, uh, it's like it's like watching a a a, a three year old carrying a glass of Kool Aid across the 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 room. <laughs> You're just kind of there, like underneath, her, like. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Freaky. Why do I have to ask complicated questions? Just grateful to for, grateful you for your questions. Grateful you're here. And hello. All right. Tara says, thumbs up, everyone. 71 thumbs up, but 201 watching helps Autumn's channel. Thank you, Tara. I appreciate that. And there's also um, Saturday's always the, the, my lowest view, viewer day of the week. I don't know why. Just did. All right. 15 minutes in. Oh, boy. Talk about profiles in courage and or stupidity. Pay careful attention to the wording of this one. 
Two Russian lawmakers were escorted out from a meeting with Putin. Meeting with Putin. And publicly deemed traitors for daring to criticize the Ukraine invasion to Putin's face. Will their inevitable sacrifice give more people the courage to do the same? Maria, Maria Lucius, going to rest. Feel I had enough of my week. <laughs> Ken, Ken just said there, and uh, that's possible. I haven't heard that, but I would, it's, it's not wholly unlikely. Deemed traitors for daring to criticize Ukrainian, the, um, to criticize the Ukraine invasion to Putin's face. Uh, oh, great. Getting the um, Queen of Hearts from Alice in Wonderland. What was I going to say? I can't remember. All right. Card from the reading is death. Page of Wands, Four of Pentacles, Queen of Wands in the center, Three of Pentacles, Justice, you're loyal enough that you're in front of Putin's face, but you are, this is the plan, and you're saying something about the plan It leads to a smackdown. You're supposed to be loyal and you are you are a pipsqueak. You are unimportant in the grand scheme of things. Because what's Putin important in Putin's world is Putin. I don't care who these guys were. I don't know who these guys were, but um, they did not have the kind of power to keep themselves fully safe, but they criticized the plan. And I, I don't think that's going to be giving anybody a lot of courage to speak out against Putin. Aries waiting for Putin has nothing to do with that with these guys being kicked out. This is USA government programs. I don't know what you're speaking of. Okay, so yikes. All right. 1930. Every day, I like Zelensky more. Here's the thing. Zelensky warns of a hunger catastrophe. All right? That makes sense. I read that because as you're, as you're reading, even if, if you read quickly, uh, you know, you, you find your, your brain's making connections and making assumptions about what the sentence is going to be or what they're talking about until you get more information. So I'm reading this and my I, I got through Zelensky warns of a hunger catastrophe and I'm like, oh geez. I mean you'd uh, you'd understand why their fields are being destroyed, their their people are hungry. This is terrible. 
Okay. Zelensky warns of, warns of a hunger catastrophe, accusing Russia of blocking Ukraine's grain exports. Now, Ukraine needs the money, but Zelensky, who is tried to assassinate him how many times, and the whole country is under attack, and all of this is going on, and he is warning the world of a hunger catastrophe elsewhere. Now, I'm not saying he, it's not, you know, you know that they, they need the money f for the grain. I'm saying that, that he would even make that argument. That that would even... Trump wouldn't have said, if we don't, if we don't get this out there, people over there will starve. There will be a hunger catastrophe unless we get this sorted out. Not even as a, an excuse would he even think of that. Or even Putin or any of these people. But Zelensky is like, yes, we need the stuff. We're getting stuff in. We need the money. But anyway, will, the, will NATO or the UN step in to help with the grain issue? Did I show you guys the picture? I, I found a picture of them filling one of the grain barges and just it gives you a sense of the scale of like what they're talking about and why so much of it gets shipped rather than or shipped like in a ship rather than over land by train or what have you. The world. Card for the reading is the world. I, my gosh. Good man. Page of Wands. Oops. Did I shuffle? Did I not shuffle? Did I not shuffle enough? Six of Pentacles. King of Cups. Queen of Wands. They want to help in the West. Pentacles. This is this is charity. This is making sure people don't starve. They're trying to. They're they're trying they're trying to find ways to help. But one of the things they would have to do is try to make as much go through make more Odessa rather than uh, somewhere to the east. Um, I I won't pull up a map, uh, but the the upshot is you've got the. Let's say you're looking at a map. Say this is Ukraine, and from your vantage point, all right, this is this is the east. This is the west. Okay, the fighting's over here. Is the maps you see on TV, and you've got major point port down here, but Odessa's over here, down over here. So you need to to get as much stuff over to the the western side of the country, down to the ports, and then you try to get ships to stay if they stay close to the shores over here in NATO countries to go get down to uh, Istanbul. Um, that's one way you could potentially do it, but there would have to be a lot of, of, there would have to be at least some military ships along this route so that uh, the Russians just didn't, don't come over in the Black Sea. I hope that made sense. It's it's doable, um, but and and they're going to try. It is desperately needed. It's still a war zone. It's a logistical nightmare, but they're doing everything they can. Hil Hilda Flores says, "I saw many farmers continue to work on their crops."
Zelensky gets Zelensky person of the year. Yeah. Five of Cups. It's a cup of disappointment. A cup, a card of disappointment, traditionally. Four of Cups, Lovers, King of Wands. Finding, finding, a, a, finding a way. And you could splush into the water they go. There's a lot. Any ship that shows up, there's they can they can fill that thing over to overflowing. They can fill that ship to overflowing. So all right. Moving on. 26 minutes in, we're gonna do some Trump January 6th stuff. 26. 26. For the past months, ready for this? For the past months, the DOJ has been interviewing fraudulent electors and Republicans in Georgia about communication with Trump and his allies. I heard this and I was like, wait, does that mean that grand jury in, in Georgia is doing something? Oh, nay, nay. This isn't even that grand jury. This is the Department of Justice. Is For the past month, the DOJ has been interviewing fraudulent electors. You don't say. Do tell. What's about to happen? Oh, goodness, goodness, goodness. Just cut it and I've got the tower and the chariot. Oh, that's going to sting. That's going to leave a mark. Okie dokie. Um, <laughs> hello, DOJ. Fraudulent electors, eh? It'll be such a good day when these people, when these people face justice. Al Menzi says, why is it when they find voter fraud, it's Republicans? Because we don't need to. Democrats don't need voter fraud. I'm not saying we would. I'm just saying we don't need it. We have popular policies. And we don't want authoritarianism, so we don't want to force things on people unless it's putting things in place to to kind of nudge equality forward. Seven of Pentacles. Oh, there was a plan. These are all the electors. It's all set up. Was it in Michigan where the, we had that video of the group of fake electors trying to get into... Um, Trying to get into the building. That was classic. Six of cups. Would you like some tasty tea? <laughs> Six of cups, death. Yeah, it's trying to kill democracy. Well, yes, and then we, Ricky, you are correct when it gets into Trump himself because we're not whiny crybabies like Tepper Tantrum Trump. That is true. Three of Pentacles, that was their plan. Justice, more like justice, unless the last card's going to say this refers to what the DOJ is going to do rather than what they were trying to do. Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, they thought they could get away with it. They thought they could get away with it. We just do what we do what we want. We, our idea of justice, our idea of who should be the president, our idea. Those people don't matter. Their votes don't matter, just our votes matter. They thought they could get away with it. That was the plan. 
trying to destroy. Yeah, this is just bad. So the evidence is there. I might have to go grab uh, some water. So I'm done here. Uh, done with this reading. I'm going to just grab some water. Grab a cup of water. DOJ, I'll send you flowers <laughs> if you do. If you actually move forward on holding these people accountable, I'll buy you lunch. I'll. What do you need? I'll help your kids with their homework. I tell me what you need. Eight of Swords. Yes, please hold these people accountable. The law should be holding them in. Five of Swords, Ten of Wands, the world. These people have no good excuse. They have they put out a bunch of if you, they put out a lot of social media posts. They, um, yeah, it's all out there. It was not subtle. We're the revolutionaries. We're going, we want it in the history books. So we want to make sure everybody knows exactly what we're thinking and exactly what we're doing. And it's all out there in the public. And then the DOJ comes along and says, you can't do that. That's illegal. And if you're going to, if you, if you are going to aim for the, if you're going to take a shot at the, the, the king, the democracy, you best not miss. And you missed because you're idiots. Government. Empress, this this is their burden. This is their stupidity. This is their their half baked, half a word. Um, forget it. They really were trying to change the get rid of democracy, but this government here. That's a card for America, Americans, America, not far right, not, yeah. And these are, these three, this is major, these three are major arcana. World Hierophant Empress. This is serious. And this isn't even just like one prosecutor. No, this is a, this is a whole go after the whole thing. Now, I don't know how long it'll take, but I like the energy. Okay. Give me just a second. I really, I'm going to go grab a, um, a, a cup of water. I'll be right back. Okay. Sorry. Lovely. All right, let's move on to what's next. Thank you for being here. I appreciate it more than you know. All right, 34. Question from Kelly. Um, there, Kelly had a great way of... of um, this, was, this was Kelly's question. Let me put this in a banner. Cuckoo. I think the Honorable Clarence and Ginny Thomas are cuckoo. How are they faring? Well, justice comes soon. I see what you did there. And I like it. That was good. Let 
Yes, apparently God told them to overthrow democracy. That's what it comes down to. With God's help, Trump will be returned to office, blah, 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 blah. Oh, nay, nay. You know, I've said this a million times, I'll say it a million times more, because it's central to all of this garbage. You know you have made God in your image when he hates the same people you do. All right, so the, the, the Right Honorable Thomases. How you doing? <laughs> Sarah would say, how's your mom and dem? Well, she can do this great Southern accent, kind of. How's your mom and dem? I can't do it. That's true, Lisa Graham. Ginny and Clarence put the coup in couple. <laughs> I love you guys. I love you. Oh, yes, Amenti, the the blonde, white blonde haired god with the long hair, the long beard, the six foot tall, you know, stick thin, right. He's who's, you know, is he going to save the world or is he going to walk the walk the runway at Gucci? Please, Knight of Pentacles. Fighting for the right. Not rights, but right. Uh, four of Pentacles. King of Cups. Seven of Swords. Three of Wands. No, two of Wands. Two of Wands. High Priestess. Hmm. Well, their plans didn't work. They didn't have the power they thought they did. Biden's president. Um, they're mean. <laughs> I, oh man. I mean, um, secret communication is what's going to bring them down. But this this Seven of Swords in this deck, it's it's backstabbing. It's being really mean and horrible. In the Rider Wait, this is the Thief card. They tried to steal the election, but it it didn't work, and their communications will hurt them. Um, how much? I'm a, they feel like they're happy with each other because they're both just as extreme. They're they're both pretty equally extreme. She might be a little bit more than him, but not not much. Mm -mm. They're both very extreme. So, so what's going to happen to the lovely couple? Who are greater than thou, than greater than than simple little us. Ace of Swords. We could use a sort of actual truth, not that garbage they're spinning. Hanged man, please let him be suspended. Page of Swords, magician. I do have two major arcana here. Too good to be true. I worry when the cars are too good to be true. His suspension and the Democrats, Biden and the Democrats, pull some kind of rabbit out of a hat to get a new justice in? No. Find that hard to believe. K 
King of Wands. King of the far right. Where reality is whatever he says it is. Knight of Cups. Actually, I've only got three cards here. Knight of Cups. Chariot. Ten of Cups. This There's somebody out there who is got serious problems with somebody somebody with if with power who's got some real problems with with thomas and is actively doing something about it legally le within i mean totally safe there's not, not no one's like out to get him personally it's someone fighting and then there's this big showy show trial big showy there's something here big showy movement and then this is very happy democrats so that maybe fingers crossed Nine of Swords, Worry, King of Pentacles, Burden. It, it feels like a metaphorical brick wall is about to land on Clarence Thomas. It just does. This Nine of Swords, this is staying up late worrying uh, because even your grandmother's trying to kill you, I guess. <laughs> yeah. And they caught it on and they caught it on film. Hmm. Anyway, no, this is the card of worry. This is King of Pentacles. Thomas thinks he's just, you know, perfectly happy, perfectly great. I'm a king. I'm a king on the, of, the, of the right. I, here I am. No one can move me. And this is burden falling on him like a metaphorical truck full of bricks. Something's coming for Thomas. That's what I'm getting. I just, I just, um, I had a complaint uh, in the comments recently of someone who was saying, why do you just keep reading on the same thing over and over? Or why do you keep reading, why do you read on the same thing even like more than once during a question time? And, and it's like, because I'm, I'm, the point of the cards is to get past my personal biases as much as possible. And if I keep pulling cards that are telling me a very similar thing, then I know it's not just a fluke. It, it's less likely to be a fluke. It's more likely to be something that I'm understanding rather than just, I'm less likely to get caught up in my own biases. That's why I do it. So, <laughs> ask me third eye. Oh, it's been a minute. Good to see you. Aspie Third Eye, Fall of the House of Thomas. Couldn't happen to some bigger jerks. 44 minutes in. Kristen, from Uncover the News. The wonderful Kristen from Uncover the News. It's brought us during his NRA speech. You know, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say what he suggested. I can read the quote to you. All right. You don't have to take my word for it. <clears throat> Trump went to the NRA meeting yesterday because of course he did and in Texas wow he went to the NRA meeting he gave a speech and in his speech he said he had signed an executive order making it a federal offense punishable for 10, at least 10 years, if you pulled down a, a Confederate statue, basically. Fine, whatever. So yesterday he says in his speech, and I quote, and immediately, immediately upon signing it, everything stopped. Did you ever notice that? It all stopped. There was nothing. Didn't happen. Amazing, isn't it? I felt I had political and uh, 
I feel I had a political and moral obligation to allow Democrat mayors and governors to run their cities when it came to crime and riots and even horrible violence. In my own mind, I was allowing the Democrats to show how they would handle the situation. And when it got out of control, I got involved. I got our government energized. So you did it in executive order eventually, but but basically you you saw there was chaos and then you did nothing to try to make Democrats look bad? Huh? Dur Some people are saying during his NRA speech, Trump suggested he let civil unrest unfold in urban areas during his presidency to make Democrats look bad. Would this... With that speech he gave yesterday, will that open him up to lawsuits? People saying, hey, this damage was done, and you were you just said you were, yeah, let them take care of it. You purposely didn't do anything. You did it for political reasons. Figured would ask. Ten of Wands. Wheel of Fortune, Judgment, Two of Swords. He has so many, he has so many court cases coming against him. Decisions over the decisions he made, left, right, and center. Massive burden. Massive wheel of fortune judgment. This is the tide is the, the he's gone. He went up on the wheel of fortune. He's going down the other side. But also this is it keeps coming. It's a wheel. Judgment, 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 judgment over legal decisions. Because of everything he did. So I don't know that it's going to be this specifically. If it is, this is small potatoes compared to the rest of it, but wow. Trump. Lawsuits. Queen of Swords. Oh, that's a lot of that's a lot of people taking Trump to court and metaphorically trimming off his <laughs> Yeah. Devil. Page of Cups. I do what I want. Ten of Pentacles. Sorry. Two of Pentacles. Very unsteady. The corruption, the people he hurts, especially kids. His financial situation falling down. What's left of it? It's like even once the metaphorical, even once ta Trump Tower metaphorically falls, it's like going in and people like kicking the last remnants of the walls down just to make sure it's so oh boy all right so at 49 30 <laughs> eileen says trump always wanted to be in the history books but he will not like what's being written. It's true. Okay. Sorry, 50. I'm going to move on to some U.S. domestic questions here. Hey, Funny is asking about Michigan. Oh, Michigan. You never disappoint, or rather, maybe you nearly always disappoint, with only the exception of the fact that you've got a Democratic governor. Michigan Republican leaders 
Michigan Republican leaders just cut their session short in an attempt to prevent Michigan Democratic leaders from addressing gun violence. Because of course they did. So Mallory McMurray posted her speech about guns online. I would like me to read on Democrats in Michigan. Democrats in Michigan. Shay Kitty says, I'm in Michigan, fed up with the right wing here. I understand. Polly Wanda, I love your brain. I love your brain. You, see, you know how when someone writes something in the chat and then they decide to get rid of it, it says, in brackets, it says message retracted. You know, it just says under, under, Polly Wanda, it's, it's just brackets, message ridiculous. <laughs> I love that. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Michigan. All right, Michigan Democrats. Forward. Knight of Swords. That's some that's some legislative metaphorical fisticuffs there. This isn't even like cups or wands or or even pentacles. This is just the swords. This is just the Empress. Seven of Cups. Fool, King of Swords, King of Cups. The Seven of Cups, this is... The Fool, these are the Republicans, the Fools. The Empress is the country, but it's also a rise of democratic power the power of democracy, uh, women as well, power of women. And then the, the right just, just comes rushing through and kicks up all the dust and tries to muddy the waters here and stop people from talking in this instance and what have you. And they want to, they want to make sure that what should have been taken care of when there was this much stuff on the, on the skewer, they're going to, just keep pile, letting it pile up and pile up and pile up until it's too unwieldy to actually do something about. It's, it's a crazy plan. It's just and irresponsible and morally repugnant. But and we have a king of cups here. Yeah, when it comes to next presidential election, unless there's some major changes in the Michigan um, legislature, They, 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 they might, they might be difficult. Fighting the good fight is what I get from Michigan Democrats. That's just USO. Thank you. Appreciate it. Two of Cups. Befriend, befriend uh, the, the, the whatever Democratic, uh, whatever Democrat uh, politician is in charge of your area, in charge of, and maybe you're in a place where there aren't any, but if there are even one, if there's even one, befriend them, work with them, help them. Emperor, five of pentacles, six of pentacles. I know that the Republicans were absolutely heinous when it came to uh, Michigan's governor, but I'm getting information here, Emperor, page of pentacles, six of pentacles. This, 
I, this is presidential politics. In the last reading too, there was an, there was some energy there of presidential 2024, 2020 leftovers. Hmm, that's what I'm picking up there. Just vote blue no matter who. Can you help get out the vote? Can you talk people into voting um, if they are legally able to do so? Can you gently try to convince them? Can you lead by example? Can you offer, offer to drive them? Can you anything? So, Lenox says we just had some districts redrawn, so I think we'll get more Dems as a result of that. Yay! Yeah. Kevin's saying not many in the smoldering state of Texas, unfortunately. That's true. Texas. Fifty-six thirty. Kristen Burroughs bringing a headline here, 56.30. Biden seems to be getting closer to canceling $10,000 of student loan debt per borrower. Will he do it? Will this, will this in, endear him to younger voters? Yes. Uh, yeah, yes to the younger voters, but who will, who will Biden cancel ten thousand dollars of debt? Oops, two cards for the reading. Two of Pentacles, King of Cups, Knight of Cups. I cannot. I can't. Apparently, I can't read. Text. <laughs> this isn't my normal deck, as you know. Knight of Cups, Two of Pentacles. Yeah, this is this is actively going forward, helping the economy as well. People who are young, young. He's a pretty young guy. Uh, young people in financial, financially shaky, and it would help the economy. Oh, Sherry H. I, it says a lot of us, uh, older voters need loan forgiveness as well. Oh, absolutely. But the I'm the question. I, I read on I read on the questions. Don't don't come for me. <laughs> Please don't come for me. I read on the questions. It's not my decision. It's not my decision. Who we who he helps? I, it, it sounds like it would be ten thousand for everybody. But I don't. The question was, will this in, endear him to younger voters? Uh, will he do it? And is what I'm adding. Will he do it? Uh, Knight of Wands. Well, that's the, the, the far right complaining. Full. King of Wands. Can they, can they throw something in the works there? Queen of Pentacles. Four of Cups. Well, he can do certain things by executive order, but there's a whole lot of this is this is a refusal card this is usually the guy sitting under the tree in the red tunic who's being offered four cups or the fourth cup he's already had three he's got a fourth being offered to him and he's just like no it's a card. it's a card of refusal and the person in the red tunic red tunic um Queen of Pentacles. I don't know how they how they can throw something. How the the Republicans can throw something in the a wrench in the works, but these are all cards of throwing a wrench in the works somehow. Doesn't make any sense. Certainly, if it's an executive order, I mean, what could they do? They don't control Congress. They don't. Yeah. Hmm. Use a different deck. Get it all faithful here. Do do. I think this will sip off water. Cheers.
Corey Sun says, I do feel President Biden will do a sub substantial loan forgiveness before the midterms. But definitely people suffering. Emperor, executive action, maybe some worry. There's some money. This says yes. These are my regular cards. This is saying he will do it. I mean, like, ding, 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 ding. Clear message. Oh. Justice right there. Um, will this endear him to younger voters? Oh, Kika, I'm sorry. I've got my, my questions for today, but I, I'll be back tomorrow. I'm here literally every day of the year. Yeah, that's a lot of Democratic voters. Enough to make the Republican who was running walk away. So this card for the reading. It's one of many, many things the far right is doing. Message complaining about the money. Yeah, this isn't this doesn't necessarily feel like young people. This is more uh, the message of everything Biden does. Democrats do is terrible. It's going to destroy us all. That there's one forgiveness. Mm -hmm. Yeah, destroy us all. Just throw things in the in the chat before I come on, and I'll be happy to read on. Okay, 103. 103. Will midterm elections produce enough blue or moderate Republicans to pass actionable gun reform? Blue or moderate Republicans who to pass gun reform? After the midterms, so next year, year after. Get some gun reform, please. Please. Wanda is saying Biden is as threatening as Putin is cuddly. Knight of Swords. Yeah, people running forward with their weapons, giant weapons. Sun. Nine of Swords, Devil, Tower, Knight of Wands. I want to be, assume I'm wrong, because I don't want to be, because I, I, I want to be wrong on this. What I get is that there is going to be another something big and ugly that happens that's before there's even a chance of making real change that's what i keep getting and i keep and i keep i keep getting that card too on this topic people are terrified to, to even send their kids to school <laughs> Sherry H said, I've been feeling that coming too. Makes me sick to the stomach. I believe it. People, right wing sitting pretty. Right wing fighting back. Right wing working. Right wing people in power. But there's hope. It's, it's... 
between this and um, what they're going to do with women's rights. It feels like for the next year or two, they're going to be some really scary things. There'll be some good things too. There will be. And there will be good things at the federal level, which is nice. But in individual states and in individual in certain topics, I think things are going to get a little bit worse before they get better. But they will get better eventually, okay? Hang in there. 10630. Rhonda had a question. Does Ted Cruz have a soul? <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, yes, <laughs> he does. Putin has a soul. Trump has a soul. And every one of our souls are little tiny pieces of the divine. That's, that's Those are my beliefs. And I have never run across anyone who who didn't have a soul. Now, what they decide to do with it with, while they're down here at this low, it's because it's, it's it, I think of it as, as levels of vibrational energy, and the the really like you start talking about angels, let alone the divine. The energy is so, the vibration is so high that it's it's beautiful, but it's almost impenetrable. Uh, they have to, you have to as you get down through the the layers of angels down through the as to um like higher selves and then down to us you they've got you gotta slow that way 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 down and that's how we're able to stay in these bodies is because we have our souls in like here are little pieces of our higher self which is big and then higher selves form a group and a and then and then bigger and then bigger and then bigger and then you get the divine and um yeah but once they're down here they can they can either try to to keep their own vibration as high as possible a person can and then it raises the the vibrational around them which is good or they can be completely selfish jerks and just lower their for their vibration lower and lower and lower and lower until they're really completely they can't, it's still there, but they can't even sense their, their connection. And, um, and then when they, when they die, they are, there are lower, there are layers of, of slower, heavier energy beneath us, even not in the earth, but like in the astral, whatever. Um, so there's some people when they, they leave their bodies, they, it's like, they just get yeeted down into the level of their soul and it's just compact and dark that's so yes he has a soul and i'll read on it but gina says his soul is a dust bunny <laughs> Don't say that. The dust bunnies were my favorite characters on the big comfy couch. Red light, green light. I liked the dust bunnies. Stephanie Martin says, maybe not lost, but buried very deep. Yes. Lisa Graham says he's doomed to the bowels of hell thing. I don't get, I, I don't, I've never picked up like fire or torture. Um, I do think that that you get that low. There's n there's nothing nourishing, and and the 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 connection to the divine is is 
you're on like this trickle charge. It's just a tiny bit of energy. It's all that can reach you, which then eventually will build up. But until then, so they, they, they must like deform themselves so they can like scare others, like scare humans, scare animals, scare so that you give off negative energy because they're, they're, they're parasites and they'll feed off of it to try to survive. It's really just gross. So all the talk about monsters and moi, it's like, please, you're astral gunk. You're an astral dust bunny. Go away. Eight of Cups. Yes, we are all precious and what have you, but you can choose to just be selfish and a jerk. It's your choice. Empress. Wheel of Fortune. Ten of Pentacles, Magician, Two of Pentacles. You got he. Um, Ted Cruz got into a position where he can be seen by huge amounts, huge huge numbers of people. He's a nationally known figure. He has all of that vis visibility. He has all the education that he had. And what is he doing with all of that that has been given to him? Not much. Really? You you were given. You were you were born in a wealthy country. You are a Oh no, he was born in Canada, but you know what I mean. He grew up he grew up here, didn't he? But even Canada. Uh, he had so much given to him. He had so many advantages. And he reached all this prominence. And really, all you're coming up with is a two of pentacles? Uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, well, well, we don't need gun reform. Well, we don't. Oh, let me go. Oh, don't insult my wife. Oh, I was just spending time with him. It was so wonderful. And I'm going to help him with his legal stuff to get out of impeachment. And But he accused my father of killing the Namby Pamby. He has a soul. He doesn't have... A backbone. CC writer, I see an SNL skit venturing into the dark black hole of Ted Cruz's soul. Yeah. See, Johnson says yes. He was only in Canada for two ish years, only because his parents went to Alberta for oil. Thank you. Rob D. Service to others, good works, or Cancun. Now, Mandy said, I didn't like him before, but when he didn't defend his wife, yeah, or when he came out, he's defending his wife. And then eh, I'm going to go kiss this guy's rear end. Okay, 114. Fourteen and uh, where are we? Come on, thirty. One fourteen thirty. Front had a question: Are Cruz and DeSantis, Texas and Florida, are Cruz and DeSantis planning something together to damage the Democrats' chances before the midterms? Do you mean Abbott and DeSantis? Why would it be specifically Cruz and DeSantis? I am curious if Rhonda is still here. Um, I'm, I'm really wondering if, if, because we're talking about a Texas senator and a Florida governor. How about I, how about I read on Abbott and DeSantis? Is that, is that okay? Let me know. Oof. Make this one fifteen thirty. R. Let me know if Rhonda uh, has, has has chimed in, please. Um, 
let's do Abbott and DeSantis. For Abbott and DeSantis, planning something together could damage Democrats' chances before the midterms. Eileen says Cruz and DeSantis play on the big stage more than Abbott. Um, I don't know. Judith, Judith is saying Cruz and DeSantis, sorry, Judith is saying Cruz is looking to hitch his wagon to the next potential Republican leader. RCN says another reader saw a connection between DeSantis and Cruz. Ted and Evelyn saying Ted and Death Satan have been talking to each other. Okay. All right. I'll change it back to Cruz. You got it. You ask the questions. I do my best to read on them. With only a few exceptions. Cruz and DeSantis. Okay. Rhonda, that's what Rhonda is asked for. That's what Rhonda's going to get. One sixteen forty-five. All right. Our Cruz and DeSantis planning something together to damage the Democrats' chances before the midterms. Okay. Cruz and DeSantis. Go together like darkness and mold. Like smelly socks and gym bags. Cruz and DeSantis. I'm trying to get a sense of the connection between them. Four of Pentacles. World. Page of Wands. Knight of Swords. I don't I'm not feeling like, hello, sweetheart. I'm not feeling like there's they're that much closer than other far-right Republicans. Aha, oh, yes, he got my hair tie. Oh, goodness, he jumped from all the way up here. He's like, score! He got an elastic band, I have my hair in a braid. He's like, oh! It's mine. Mine, I tell you. Oh, it's all mine. Where is it? What did you do with it? Did, are you standing on it? I know you didn't eat it. But now you've got me worried. Where is it? Oh, I'm standing on it. Look. Yuck. Okay. Sorry. The Great Hunter. Yes. Okay, C. Johnson saying Ted Cruz's parents had lived in Calgary for three years and were working in the oil business as owner of a seismic data processing firm for oil drilling. Ooh, okay. Marie Sutton said, I noticed Senators Cornyn and Cruz on stage with Abbott, news conference when Beto showed up. Then McConnell tells Cornyn to find common ground on gun reform. Guys are running scared now. I'm I'm getting their birds of a feather. That's that's all I'm getting. I I don't know that this is standing out any more than they're all trying to come up with ways to disenfranchise Democrat voters. Hello, Petrus. Yeah, I don't know that I'm. Seven of Cups, 
They both they both lie about what Democrats are saying. Surprise. Don't need me to tell you that. Ten of Cups, Four of Pentacles, World. They're afraid that things are going to turn against the Republicans. That Democrats will win. That's all I'm getting. I'm really not getting anything more than that. So that's all I'm getting. Yeah. All right. Oh, and he's gone. Okay. 121. Um, I'm only going to do one more question. I'll move the other one, the other couple of ones to tomorrow. Michael Rini's been asking about Stacey Abrams and her rematch with Brian Kemp. Um, I'm still looking at the astrology of that. So give me, give me a day or two on that still, please. I'd appreciate it. Uh, but I will look at it. Absolutely. Um, federal appeals court. Okay. So at one, 122. Okay. 122. And Glenn was asking federal appeals court rules against Madison Cawthorn holds that the 14th amendment can be used to disqualify it in its directions from office. But with Marjorie Trader Green, the judge said it did it had to be left up to the Secretary of State. But the federal appeals court ruled against Madison Cawthorn. So the question actually is, are Lauren Boebert, Paul Gosar, and Mo Brooks next? Oh man, okay. Alicia Liu, Kamala Harris was born in was born in America. Pretty sure. Am I wrong on that? Pretty sure she was. All right. Will this Fourteenth Amendment be used over these people? Well, they're about to be raked over the legal coals. Oh, Teresa, she could be. She could be vice president. I believe. Yeah, she could be vice president if she wasn't born. She can't be president, or can't be elected. I'm very tired. I had a lot of sugar this morning, and I'm just holding on. So details elude me <laughs> i'm afraid thank you dave she was born in oakland california i was gonna say i thought it was california <laughs> but right now do details elude me forgive me five of pentacles yeah these guys are about to be raked over the coals judgment page of pentacles queen of swords death card yeah these as a group this is not having much of an argument to be made this is being raked over the coals um facing judgment this is legal can be actually groups of prosecutors in different places but there's a big old death card here the uh, these these People, they're the ones who have publicly been most tied to uh, the January 6th insurrection. And this looks ugly for all of them. Anyway. All right. Snow Wolf says, drunk text editor. Well, apparently I've got one here, even though I'm stone sober and always am. Oh, well. Anyway. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Sorry to go blank at the end there. But anyway, it is 1.40. Oh, before I go, I should have said this right up front. And I forgot. This way. Maybe I'll lean this way. Ding! This evening is the uh, monthly patron Terra Social. It is this evening at 8 p.m. Central Time uh, in the U.S. Chicago time. From 8 to 10, you've got me. 
uh, all patrons and um, yeah, we we'll read on whatever you'd like. We usually, usually we talk about all kinds of crazy stuff. It's a lot of fun. And um, we rarely talk about politics actually, but anyway, but that's this evening. So you got me from eight to 10. Other than that, I, between four and 6 p.m. Chicago time, I will be over on the book art media channel due to creative sprints. Yes, I have the one day a month I'm on screen live stream. <coughs> Excuse me. For between about five and a half and six hours. <laughs> but I just, I, I enjoy it and I'm, I feel blessed. I feel grateful. I can do this. All right. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. It's kitty time. Do, 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 do. It's kitty time. Don't want you, sweetheart. You are just a sweetheart. Yes, you are. You are just a sweetie. All right. So I will head out. Drink lots of water. Yes, that's where I'm. That's where there's going to be lots of that. <laughs> Hang in there, everybody. Oh, the kitty. Where are you go? Where? Okay, I'm trying to. I'm. I'm trying to leave. Seriously. Like get off the screen. I know I'm trying. <laughs> See you later. Hi. Oh, the kitty.